G'day guys, Mad Matt here. So, gonna reverse a trailer down my driveway. Now, that doesn't sound like anything terribly difficult or complicated, but um, it's a challenge. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are gonna go, ah, oh, Matt, I can do that in my sleep. Uh, trust me, it's, uh, it is a challenge, and what I'm reversing down here is definitely gonna be a challenge. So, this is my driveway. This is from the street. Now, there's a couple of key things I want to show you that I have to achieve. And the f first thing is, as you can see on the tracks of the road here, I've got to turn straight away and then I've got these timber bollards here which really restrict and limit the amount, the, the getting through the gate. And then you come through the gate, you start to drop downhill and you've got to straighten out. Now, dropping downhill means that you start to lose sight of the trailer. So that's a problem. And then see over here this post, which is the switch to operate the gate, which doesn't operate anymore, but that post is there. So that means you can't swing the trailer out through there and down. So what that means, if we come back here, is our turning point. Now, where I see most people go wrong with their trailers is they back in, they back in, the front wheels get past, or the trailer wheels get past this post. So the trailer wheels are here somewhere. And then they think they're going to turn. Well, that's not the key for this driveway. Okay, the key is to, to have the turn start as soon as your wheels get to this point here. So you turn like that and the trailer travels down there. Now that's the key to making this work. But you've also got the issue, your vehicle is following the trailer. So what happens is you can actually see a tire mark from where I've done this before. The front of the vehicle starts getting very close to these poles here. So it, it's quite tight. Now, I've done this multiple times with my camper trailer. I can do it one shot, no problems, get down there. Um, what I'm doing today, which I'll show you in a second, is a bit more of a challenge. I've only done it once, and it was raining and in the dark, which was, no, it wasn't in the dark, but it was raining, <laughs> and that was a challenge. So I've, that's, uh, we're gonna see how we go today. You're gonna come along for the ride and see, uh, see what you think. So a couple of things, we'll talk while we walk. <coughs> um, a couple of things with this. Now, I'm doing this in the 105 Series Land Cruiser, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's great. I put it in low range, and that's good. What is great is if you can put it in low range and not have it in four-wheel drive. So because my vehicle's one, uh, constant four-wheel drive, that's, I need to do a modification to it, which I haven't done yet, to make it easy. Um, uh, if you've got freewheeling hubs, put it in low range, leave the freewheeling hubs out. It means you can go slow and get all the control you want. Okay, so this is what we're going to be reversing down there. That is 2.4 metres wide, so it's a very wide trailer. The total rig is about 11 metres long, very long. Now, what makes a trailer a lot easier to reverse is the distance between the back wheel and, the, and your tow ball, and your tow ball and your tyres. So reversing a little box trailer, aside from being hard to see, is actually um, harder than reversing this. The issue with this is physically the size and length of the whole rig. All right, I'm gonna set the camera up and we're gonna give this a go. So the first thing we need to do is set up the whole rig for the start of the manoeuvre. So I come into the side of my driveway and then peel up like this and now what I'm doing is setting up that trailer for the start of the maneuver so just back on that thing about the box trailer the closer the axles are to the tow ball and the shorter those distances are the harder it is to reverse that's the point I was trying to make okay so now I'm bringing this in now at the moment obviously I can only see my right hand mirror so I'm having to guess that left-hand side of the trailer because that's the key point at the moment. So now I've got sight of this in my left mirror, so you're going to lose sight of it on, your camera, on the camera there. But uh, there's only so much I can do, hey. Now, so obviously <laughs> this, is the, this is where the challenges of all this are. That left-hand mirror is really, it's one of those experiences um, magnifying jobs and they they suck for this job the other thing is too reversing a trailer by looking over your shoulder is not nearly as accurate as reversing on your mirrors 
So both my boys, I've taught them how to reverse by using their mirrors. And they can do that. And they can do it very well. Okay, so now I'm, I'm worried. I don't want to turn the trailer into that post behind me, which I can only just see. That's the post you're seeing right there at the corner of the car. Okay, so it's looking good. Another tip for you is... Now I need to follow. You can see how close I am to the this log here. This is where this all becomes really difficult. So we're doing all right overall, but I've got to get the front of the car through and the trailer is going a bit to my left. Now, what was that point I was going to say? Oh yeah, if you're in an automatic and you're going down, reversing down a hill or something, like I'm going, I am now, this is a steep driveway, um, Okay, front's past that ball. Put the vehicle in neutral. Removes the amount of drive going onto your wheels, so your brakes have to work less. Okay, now what I'm doing, i am got to get the front of the vehicle over, because you guys are in the trees. <laughs> okay, but this is... That really sucks. Sorry about that. Okay, we're through the gate. Now I can straighten the rig up. There we go, now we're... I'm going to straighten the camera up too. Sorry about that, peeps. <laughs> so now I pulled forward after you guys went into the tree, that little bit, and that's allowed me now to straighten the rig up. Now, my, now that I'm through the gate, which is the hardest part, now I'm setting the trailer up for this turn. See the turn way down the bottom of the hill? Okay, so I'm pointing the trailer to the approximate apex of that turn. Again, I've got to follow that trailer around the turn with the front of the vehicle. See that rock? I'll point to it. Uh, how do I point to it? Like that. See that rock there? That, the, if I get this wrong, the front wheels of the car get hung up in that. So I'm setting that up all these metres before. See that little... Uh, See that little gutter that the tyres are on the edge of? That's the, um, the part that I want to keep the trailer following. If I do that, the car will follow. Okay, so now I'm right on the apex of the turn and I'm also on the steepest part of, of the, the hill. So I'm just winding up my brake, trailer brakes a little bit. Okay. And following this down all right see I've, I've come away from that apex that's not good try and correct it make your corrections early when you're reversing a trailer most people make them too late and that's where they end up wrong and make them vicious like so make it early and and like there I've gone full lock to correct that little mishap I've just picked up the edge of that rock I talked about earlier but I'm past it Okay, we've, we've absolutely, we're nailing this. All right, and then here we go. Now I'm just gonna back that into the workshop. So I'm watching my left-hand mirror, which I know you guys can't see, sorry. Um, you can see it's nice and slow because I'm just on idle in reverse. Okay, I'm just following my left-hand mirror on a corner over this side. Okay. Now I'm pointing the trailer at the garage. We're going to do a few mechanical things on it today. It's not normally going to be brought down here, but it's good to know I can do it now. This is far more successful than last time because I've worked out those turn points. Okay, so just nudge that in past that post. And that'll about do you, donkey. That'll do you. So there you go. That's a big rig down that driveway now I'll just say where did I learn to reverse and I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal as somebody who's awesome at this I know some of you guys are far better at reversing I don't know how you guys reverse B-doubles and truck and dogs that's a whole another mystery and if anybody wants to take me out and show me and give me a lesson I'm keen so anyway um, I learned it as a kid um, backing tractors and that was awesome we had a big trailer like that one there and a tractor because you could see over your shoulder 
but it taught me the basics. Once I had the basics, I then taught myself to use my mirrors and I reversed that down there on mirrors without looking over my shoulder once and that's the way I believe you should reverse trailers. And like I said earlier, both my boys can do that and I'm pretty proud of them for being able to do it because we've taught them. So, all right guys, I'm gonna get on with my day. Have a good one. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails. Let's cover that tire. The, oh, my thumb's not big enough to cover the tire, bugger. Gotta load the race car on later, woo!